Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about specialities and common stuff. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, should I take a job developing a internal tool for a company or should I take a job where I get to build just another CRUD application? And the short answer is it depends on where you are in your career, but if you're just starting out, you should go with the CRUD application. Let me explain why. So, this is a good question because it touches on something that I think is vastly underappreciated with a lot of developers when we're talking about long-term strategies for your career. I've had this question come up in many situations where people want me to have an opinion on should I go with that job or that job? And what I always try to explain is that it depends on what your end goal is but if you want to have a long and healthy and stable above all else career within software development you need to get your boot camp training first you need to get the basics let me explain that so if you go and say take a job making something like an internal tool or a SDK or like a, something like that something very specific for a company if you don't know anything else and this is your first job the risk that you the risk you run there is that you will learn how to work at that company and that is a very bad long-term career move for you because if you only know how to work within that one company and do the thing that they're doing and you then realize that you know what I've been doing this for long enough now it's getting kind of boring because trust me guys it's not like coding is great it's super fun but doing the exact same thing forever and ever it always gets boring unless you're blessed with a very different mind than me and a lot of people that I know there are people who just can do the same thing over and over if you're not one of them this is a bad thing because when you get to that point where you want to try something out and do something different you realize that well I don't really know how all the others are doing work I know how to do work here but I'm actually lacking stuff that is common knowledge for most of IT so when I say that you should go with the CRUD application in the scenario I assume that you're a junior developer if you are already a person because that's the other part of it I mean it's like training a soldier you have to learn the basics first before you can specialize and become something more than just a normal private because if you if you you I mean that's the way it goes if you learn the basics first they get boring but at the very least you have a foundation and then you can start looking around so if you're a senior developer and you get an offer to do some internal tool that seems kind of cool there's no risk for you to take that job because you already have a foundation fallback or a fall, uh, you have a foundation knowledge that you can fall back on so if it doesn't work out you can go somewhere else because you already know what the vast majority of everybody's, uh, everybody's building and most companies are building a CRUD application that's what pre pretty much everybody is doing so if you're a junior developer that I hope that makes sense to you the first thing you want that's the first and most important thing that you can prioritize as a junior developer because it's the thing that's going to dictate how 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 easy a time you have finding future employment and what your market value will be going forward the priority you should have is to learn the boring obvious thing everybody is doing it doesn't sound very sexy it should hopefully it should be fairly sexy to you because you're learning it for the first time but even if you get a more like a more attractive offer you should go for this I I really urge you to really like heavily consider it because once you have basic training and that means doing a few years may, let's say minimum a year of boring quote-unquote crud application development at a fairly substantial company of some like of some that follows like good practices and actually has some connection to the modern IT develop uh, IT world if you do that you're set like you lit I swear to you you are literally set for the rest of your career because now you have learned the thing that is the it's the boilerplate it's the the vanilla ice cream it's the thing that every it's, the, the, it's white bread it's what everybody has it, it's the, it's everything in absolutely every single job that you can imagine that isn't highly specialized in something this is the thing that most people are doing and even if you're doing something special a lot of the times a lot of the stuff that you're learning in that 
basic training company or the company that's going to give you that first initial um, boot camp level uh, knowledge well you're going to be able to grab that with you and go into something more interesting when that gets boring but I really urge you to go there first because if you go there first you will have a foundation which means that you're not ever going to find yourself in a situation where you're going to stand without a job because you already know how to do the work of where of most the like the roles out there on the job market but if you only know how to do one specific thing in one specific company you're kind of fucked honestly because nobody's going to because you simply don't have the knowledge to move to any other company and this happens trust me it happens a lot so what i want you to take away from this is that the best thing that you can do when you're having that decision between should I do A or should I do B is to know yourself and to know what most of the industry is looking for. Because if you are a senior developer, a seasoned veteran developer, then you can be, you can basically do whatever you want. Like the, the like you the IT industry is your oyster. It's a playground. You can do anything because you already know the boring obvious stuff and then you can actually advance your value by doing some cool stuff as well that makes you stand out even more. The problem you face is that everything kind of gets boring after a while, I suppose, because you already know everything. But if you're a junior developer, even if something seems really cool, sure, you can go for it. But you, as I said, just make sure that you don't neglect basic training. And basic training is to learn how to build boring, quote unquote, old CRUD applications in a semi, a, a company of some size. Like with where the software team and like coworkers and all that stuff, because that's the thing where that that is a representation of the vast majority of uh, the industry. And once you have that down, so that that feels a little bit unfulfilling, you can try out anything you want pra practically. Because if it doesn't work out, you always have a fallback. That's at least, if you ask me, the best way to look at setting up your career to be stable and keep yourself very flexible for most of the time you're going to spend in IT. Have a great day.